your contributions are the ones we're honoring this year. Can you give us some idea of what distinguishes those contributions? Well, I suppose first it is a lifetime award that I do shows I've gotten old. So. <laughs> 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 so I'm just that way. And I have the biggest beard in the room as well. <laughs> um, or essentially, though, I think my I'm just going to signify I've been part of an amazing organization for over 20 years now at the Mental Health American at the Village. We have people there who could have won any of the awards that were today, a combination of administrators, researchers, practitioners, educators. And recovery is a team sport. You have to do it together as a group. And innovation has always been our practice of trying to get there. And we've avoided having an atmosphere of fear. Secondly, I think it, it's just as much of my career is that I coincided with the explosion of the recovery movement. And so I've done things that range from theoretical stuff about concepts of recovery and practices to almost people with dual diagnosis, transition like you, to administrative tools, things like the Moore scale or recovery culture or progress apart from us uh, or soup to dessert. And the third thing is that I am a psychiatrist. I think the for many people, the best recovery plan can integrate both psychiatric care and rehabilitative services. There aren't a lot of psychiatrists in this organization or in this room, and I've managed to integrate the, the two between the two fields. You mentioned a number of contributions. What's your favorite? My favorite is still the Kubler Ross four stages of recovery, the hope and empowerment, self responsibility, yeah, and the roles. Yeah. Um, this in the Road to Recovery book. I, I, I always remember the day that I first came up with my first speech, that was by 20 years ago, a group of social work um, field supervisors, and how the group was stunned and a few people even had tears in their eyes. I just had to stumble on something real important here. <laughs> even though this is a Lifetime Achievement Award, we hope Bill Contender continue to promote recovery. What do you see in the near future for recovery and your I think we need to be paying attention to recovery or an administration. If we're actually making a current system to do transformation, we need to be treating our staff the way we want them to treat their clients. I think. Yay. I think we need to be paying attention to growth and flow and graduation with people moving on from services so that our caseloads don't just open up. Um, I think we need to be paying attention to community development, that our community that our, our client is not just about making a better living really along the world, making the world a better place to make a long end. And I think it's about making sure all of you come along as we integrate into primary care that we don't lose recovery in this next stage. Thank you very much.